welcome back. Had a few flakes flying across the twin tiers this weekend, but now a pattern change once again. I'll call for lingering clouds tonight. Spotty showers will be possible. Much of the overnight period, though, will be dry. Rain becoming likely again tomorrow. Temperatures closing in on 50, if not lower 50s, and remaining unsettled here late in the week with even warmer temperatures could be a record breaker for us here as we go into Christmas Eve day. Last check at the Elmira Corning Regional Airport, 48 degrees, a westerly wind at 9 miles an hour, 47 the current temperature in Ithaca, winds out of the southeast. Uh, there 44 in Aaron 49 right now in Corning Ridgeberry coming in at 43 degrees 46 in Tawanda looking at upper 40s in Hornell and 44 in Alfred so definitely a mild night all across the twin tiers just a little bit cooler here towards Wellsboro reporting a temperature of 39 but as we look elsewhere across the region again with cloudy skies in place and just some spotty showers temperatures quite mild 50 in Dansville 43 in Bradford 44 in Dubois Williamsport at 43 Ithaca reporting at temperature of 47. So as far as precipitation goes, not a whole lot showing up here on our first warning Doppler radar. Spotty showers over Tioga County. Few more showers here over the northern tier of Pennsylvania, but uh, you really have to head farther down towards the south and east to experience some steadier precipitation associated with an area of low pressure here uh, over um, areas of Georgia and uh, northern areas of Alabama. And as we zoom down into that direction, you can see just spotty showers between here and there, but a little bit more numerous over this area of the country. This is what's going to be pushing up towards the north and east here over the next 24 hours, giving us a better chance for showers tomorrow. Tonight, temperatures not moving much. 40 are forecast low. Typically this time of year, 19 is where we get for a low temperature. And tomorrow, back to above average levels, 52 are 5 degree guarantee. Normally, we have a high of about 36. As we like look at future track right now, again, through the overnight period, 1 o'clock in the morning, just basically cloudy skies out there. Can't rule out a brief shower, but much better chance for rain here for the morning commute as that wave of low pressure heads our way. Kind of tapering off a bit here as we go through tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening as we go into the evening hours. Maybe in a few breaks in the overcast here being picked up on this you know, RPM computer model. And then for Wednesday, better chance for showers later on in the day. And it looks like it stays wet into Christmas Eve day as well. Rainfall totals overnight tonight, about a tenth of an inch. We'll add a little bit more to that by tomorrow evening, about a quarter of an inch of rain. Breaking the action for the first half of Wednesday, but then late in the day we start to add to this again. By then about a third of an inch of rain, but uh, looks like some more steady rains for Wednesday night just out of that time frame. We forecast 49 today, the unofficial high at the airport, 52 degrees. 40 is what we're forecasting tonight, some spotty showers, 52 is our five degree guarantee tomorrow. Again, periods of rain likely seven day forecast quite warm for this time of year. Christmas Eve day, we're forecasting 67. That would be a record breaker. The previous record 60 set 1957 and for the weekend, some lingering showers out there. Temperatures in the 40s, so uh, not looking like a end of the December seven day no. forecast at all. For those hoping for a white Christmas, not going to be the case. Probably not going to happen. But I do want to talk to you about this new weather system we have because this is brand new debuting here on WEMY News today. So let's just tell people real quick like why this is so good for the people in our community. Absolutely. A lot of great assets here. It's got that sharp look to it first off, but uh, more importantly, uh, we have more access to more uh, computer data. The RPM computer modeling system through WSI, the parent corporation here very accurate and it gets more detailed into our local viewing area. So that'll help us pinpoint with more accuracy uh, times of precipitation and uh, temperature uh, trends as well. And also, especially when we get to the severe weather season with our new Doppler radar system, we can zoom right into actually street level and then be able to pinpoint exactly where those storms are heading and a time of estimation arrival with those storms as they progress. So something that's uh, really cool and we'll see more features unveiled here with this TrueView Max system as we uh, you know go deeper into the system, especially getting the next severe weather season. Wonderful, and I look forward to exploring that as well. Thank you so okay. much, Joe.